UMass Boston Women's Volleyball on the road to kick off the Lilies Conference Tournament. The quarterfinals between them as the six seed and the three seeded UMass Dartmouth Corsairs. The Corsairs beating the Beacons at Clark Athletic Center earlier this year in three straight sets. But there are three close sets, and the Beacons showed why in this one. As early on, they would have the momentum and take an early 3 nothing lead in set number one, thanks to a Michaela Clary kill and two attack errors by the Corsairs. However, UMass Dartmouth would go on a 7-0 run when the match was tied up at 14-all, which would end up being the difference maker as they win set number one, 25-16. But the Beacons coming back strong in set number two, a 3-0 run here to kick it off in a 5-5 tie, thanks to that pretty kill by Amelia Devlin, and then a kill here by Taryn Brogel, and then an attack error after that by Marley Alexander, would help give the Beacons an 8-5 to five advantage. And then once it looked like the Corsairs were going to creep back into this match, the Beacons yet again seized control with a 3-0 run. It's 16-15 Beacons at this point, and Michaela Garrity goes in for the kill and makes it 17-15. And then an attack error by Marley Alexander, thanks to this block in front by Taryn Brogel, helps make it 18-15. to And then Garrity again makes it 19-15 to on that pretty kill right there that gets behind the defense of UMass Dartmouth. They'd end up taking set number two, 25-21, thanks to an attack error by Devin Lang. So you head to the third set, tied up at one on the Beacons, using a momentous 6-0 run to end up winning that set. The Beacons had gone on a 4-0 run when the match was 13-12. However, this would be what sealed the deal for them. Up 19-14, end up winning the final six points of the third set and would finish it off with three straight kills by Michaela Garrity to take that third set and go up 2-1 in the match. The Beacons now just within one set of pulling off an upset win as the sixth seed and showing why they are the defending Little East Conference champs. As you see right here, Garrity with a nice kill makes it 24 to 14. And then we finish it off with the set point right there. Brogel looks to finish it, but a nice save by the Corsairs. However, Dean's going to set it up for Devlin. And then Garrity goes up and finishes the job as a double touch was called on the Corsairs. Set number four. Really just went entirely the way of UMass Dartmouth. They take it 25-18. So with their backs against the wall, the Beacons needing a way to win. And they were 3-0 coming into this match in five set games. And Tony Guerra, a big game-changing plan right there. The Beacons were up 5-1 in the set. Were then up 7-5. And Guerra's save right there keeps the point alive and helps spur this 5-0 run by the Beacons that really ends up being the difference maker in the match as you see an attack error Two straight times by the Corsairs end up putting up the Beacons 9-5. to Melina Sullivan celebrating on the sideline right there. Devin Lang then with an attack error makes it 10-5. to And just like that, the Beacons are closing in on the upset win. And then yet another attack error by Devin Lang would help put the Beacons in front 11-5. And then Livia Trindade puts an exclamation point on that 5-0 run for the Beacons who are now suddenly up. 12 to 5 in the fifth set. And all they need is one more point to win here up 14 to 17. And Taryn Brogel and Lauren Westland up front convert on a block against Chelsea Sanker and the Beacons pull off the upset win. They celebrate and are bouncing on the court of UMass Dartmouth. The Beacons will now head on the road on Thursday night at 7 p.m. to take on the two seeded Keene State Owls, who they lost to earlier this year on the road in four sets. But one thing's for sure. This Beacons team is something special as they continue their Cinderella run in the Little East Conference Tournament.